guys so for the first step you guys just will be needing some plain white cardstock this is what I picked up this is what I had from Walmart I grabbed it from Walmart and I've had it for quite some time so I'm going to be using these okay and if you want you can use if you want your corners to be like round and not so much square I picked this little gadget up from Hobby Lobby it gives you the option of four different types of sizes that you want to make your corners okay you guys can see that um, these are the same I did do a sheet this one right here um, it has like I can show you right now we can put this we'll give it this corner right here you put it and insert it all the way in okay make sure it's all the way in and then you clip it and it gives you a corner of course that's a small one but again it gives you four four different options okay so that's a wider one all right and it's it's a cool gadget if you don't want whatever you make like um what is it like your invitations to like birthdays and stuff if you want your corners to be round then yeah go grab you one of these from Hobby Lobby okay next you will be needing a printer I am going to be using it's right behind me the Epson Equal Tank 3850 okay 3850 you guys this is what it looks like this is what I will be using I didn't swap out the ink we just used the ink that came with it all right okay you guys so now let's go over I will be using silhouette studios to create these mats so let's go ahead and go over into silhouette studio so we can start putting these activity mats together okay so the first thing we want to do is grab let me move this back some so you guys can see what I'm doing we're going to grab a square okay grab a square bring it out let's draw it we're gonna make it eight and a half in height I'm gonna click on the button up here the unlock we're gonna make it width wise it's gonna be 11 inches okay if you guys see my hand it's because I'm working on my laptop okay 11 inches wide and eight and a half 8.50 in height okay that's what it should be hit enter there we go hit lock so it don't move and now we want to make our page white and then we can start building okay so this is our placemat right here towards the end of the video we're going to end up flipping it the long way okay you guys all right let's start working on building our page i thought i was recording when i started typing the happy birthday but i wasn't so just go ahead and type in your happy birthday because we're going to use this as a guide to see exactly where we want to place all our images and for the font you guys I am using it's called big boy okay um, for the number five you guys I'm gonna show you something so I'm gonna type in five and I'm going to change it to clear outline is going to be black and you see how light it looks let me change it to big boy so you guys can see it's really light so up here on top of silhouette studios you'll see two um, arrows up and down it's gonna say 0, 0.00 and then you have your two arrows and PT you can go ahead and hit the zero for up and it's going to darken your number five okay or any any letter or anything for that matters if it's too light all right that's the way you can make it dark just click on it and make it dark okay I got mine at 2.00 okay and then I am going to make the number five bigger than the rest of the words because I want the five to stand out so let's bring in happy bring over the number five and then I type the TH separate you guys so I can make it smaller be careful when you um, design because a lot of times for some reason it is uh, when you go to click on your letters or your numbers it will click the outline of your whole square and we don't want that so bring in birthday let's bring it in some from the end okay just like so maybe bring the th down some because we're gonna have an outline when it's all said and done see how my page just moved all right let's bring it down okay 
Okay, I think I just moved my page myself. So I think that looks good. So next thing you wanna, what you wanna do is we're gonna go find our designs. Okay, I'm trying to delete this number five. All right, so we're gonna go find our designs, the designs that we want. I've already have some on hand that I've picked out, but I am gonna walk you guys through this step. So we wanna go into Pinterest. Okay, here we are in Pinterest. You can type in Baby Shark coloring pages or any character you are looking for. Okay, I did the Ninja Turtles and I did the Spidey, Spidey and Friends. And I'm going to show you guys the end results of that as well, of how those came out. So go ahead and scroll through. Pick out whatever design you want. Once you figure out what you want, click on these three dots, hit download image, and it should already be download it to your computer now you see how this one has an outline I'm gonna show you how I get rid of that so let's bring that back in here goes the download that we just did wait that one's not it that one don't have the outline this one does let's bring it in and all I do is I screenshot to get rid of this outline a lot of people do use um, the icon over here where it's called trace and then you can click on it and you can trace the design out right you can trace the design oh excuse me the design out to how you want it to get rid of the outline but a lot of times it doesn't let you highlight the whole image to kind of like what is it um to do the trace and detach so a lot of times it doesn't do that so this is why i just go and do the um screenshot so for the screenshot i'm going to hit my menu button my shift as well as the letter S and you should get something like this and then now we can just take that plus sign and square out what we want all right again I don't want none of the black line around it all right and then it's down here but I can also go and click on my downloads go down to screenshots and it should be down here somewhere right here and we don't have an outline okay so that's how I do the coloring pages that have an outline in case you guys come across it and you guys don't like it either it, and a lot of people just keep it it doesn't matter it's up to you on how you guys decide to want to build your uh, coloring books so go ahead and drag your design in and like I said I already have a few downloaded so go ahead and go back into Pinterest and scroll through and pick out whatever coloring pages you guys would like. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here, dragging all my images, and then we'll go from there and I'll show you guys how to do the, what is it, the word puzzle as well as the connect the dots, okay? Hey everyone, I hope, I hope this is clear. I'm trying to get it to focus. Okay, so for the word search, the word search puzzle, you guys, we're gonna type in word search I mean wordsearchbox.com so it'd be word search box.com hit enter and then we're gonna go down to this one click on it and you'll get something like this up here on the right hand corner it's gonna say word search maker and you'll get something like this. Now you wanna name whatever your puzzle is gonna be because that's gonna print out along with your puzzle. So we're doing Baby Shark. I'll keep it all capitals. All right, and you, you can do a description. Um, I'm not gonna put one. But now down here, we have to create a word list and your words have to be a minimum of 10. And I think it's like, I don't know it's a minimum of 10 and then like you can type in anything above 10 10 and up so we're gonna delete all these now we're gonna do like baby shark let's capitalize I think they already come capitalized though baby shark a uh, pink fong yeah I think it's p-h-o-n-g ain't it <laughs> <Pink thong. laughs> And then um, we'll do a mirror. We'll put a mirror's name in there as well. We'll do like birthday, friends, family. Um, you can do like mama shark, daddy shark. Because we got to have at least 10, right? So uh, baby shark, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need four more. So we'll do uh, mama shark. 
Well, I guess we'll just do mama and then what? what? Is this mama. Baby shark, uh, daddy shark. What is it? Grandma shark. All right. Uh, is that 10? I'm just giving you guys an example. Okay. Baby shark, ping pong, Amir. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. So, what is it? Um, grandma shark, daddy shark, mama shark. Doop, 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 doop. Um, we'll do. We can put star because there's stars in there. So we'll do star. Starfish maybe, like a starfish. All right, that gives us 10. Okay, so once you get your 10, you want to go down here and it's going to ask you some questions. Disable, reverse, reverse dialogue. Um, easy mode because this is for kids and it's going to show you a preview right here. Okay, once you look at your preview and you're like, okay, I'm okay with that. Then you can hit submit. Once you hit submit, you're going to get something like this. All right, and now you can either print image or you can play, which that just tells you if you hit play, you can play the game. But we're going to hit print image PDF. And then right here, it gives you the option to download. So we're going to download the image. Now, if download is not working for you or something is going on with your computer, you can't figure it out, screenshot. You can always hit your menu button, your shift and your S, and you can screenshot your puzzle out. Okay, just like so. That way you still can get it. Okay, so I figured I'll show you guys that step. Now we're going to bring our puzzle into our design. I mean, yeah, onto our um, activity page. My screenshot of the puzzle. I'm going to go ahead and just use the screenshot. All right, and then drag it in wherever you guys want. Again, the white is, the background is white, so we won't have a problem with um, putting that on the page. We can move, oops, I just caught my paper my page set up Let's move this star out the way make sure we have enough room from the top bring birthday up a little bit good right there all right let's bring our puzzle in you can put this wherever you want i'm gonna move this baby shark eh, maybe up here and then bring in the puzzle here make it as big as you like take it take up as much room as you like okay make it wide bring it down all right that should be good now for the connect the dots here is my connect the connect the dots star so what I like to do is get a design like the star it's not too much there's not too much um how do I say it it's not too much of a design like it's simple so it's not a lot of, of work inside the design you want it to be simple so I went with the star okay so for the star we're gonna upload it in the connect the connect the dots app okay okay everyone so for the connect the dots image we're gonna type in ohmydots.com in the search bar oh my dots dot com ohmydots.com wait it's yep yeah, okay all right it's gonna be the first one here click on it it's gonna tell you to create click on it and it's gonna tell you to create which game would you like to create we're gonna create the connect the dots it's gonna tell you to drop a photo here now it's asking us to drop an image here so we're gonna click on it because we want to browse and we're going for something simple make sure you go for something simple i do have a star in here right here and i'm just going to open it just like so see how it does that it automatically gives you an outline now you can go in and click on the line okay grab the line click on it with the arrow and you can create your own dots and you can make this um exactly how you want it to be so i'm just going to go in and add in all my dots i'm going to grab the line how i want add a dot there make it as curvy put a dot here i'm clicking it up on top click it here all right so this is really neat you guys and i'm just clicking on the line and adding my dots where i want them to be just like so okay adjusting the ones that they gave me but also adding as well 
all right so you want to do this to the outline of your image the way you would prefer the way you would like it okay add a dot grab the line here add a dot add a dot okay all right and then we just keep working our way around the the image to our liking okay all right so we just keep working it out. now if you add a dot right let's add a dot and you don't want that dot there you changed your mind go over here and click undo it'll take your dot away okay click click let's just go ahead and make this start outline click click all right so I'm gonna work my way around the star which I, I, I already have a design that's outlined and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna put the face back in the outline of this okay and when you're done let me go ahead and finish this off real quick because I want to show you guys when you're done it's gonna automatically number your dots so I'm gonna quickly add some dots in some everywhere bring it in bring it bring it bring it bring it down and around okay here we go all right and here all right which you guys know I'm gonna do a way better job than this I'm just showing you guys the gist of how this works bring the little star out there okay all right so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here and then once you're done hit next and see it gives you guys the numbers and again if this does not download for you you can always screenshot this okay you can screenshot it and you can use that all right so that's um, one way you can do it and if it works for you then you know you can just hit create and then it will take you here and then all you have to do is hit download it's gonna ask you for a Chrome extension if you don't want to go through all that then I suggest you go ahead and just screenshot your design okay screenshot what we just made with the dots um, it just took me out so the design where it showed you the number then go ahead and screenshot that if you don't want to add that extension in. okay you guys guys this is what I'm talking about go ahead and screenshot so once you go when you're at the end stage and you figured out where you want your dots hit next and then this part right here hit your main menu hit your shift and your s the letter s all at once and you should get this and, and then you can just screenshot this just like so and there you'll have it in your screenshots okay so that's how that's the easiest way to do this part if again you don't want to add the extension of Chrome like they're going to request for you to do once you hit create all right it's going to ask you right here to download the extension so to skip all that just screenshot your design and then you can just upload it okay you guys now we're going to grab the design that we just screenshot open it up that's not it <laughs> let's go find our screenshots right here let's open it up all right bring it in now for this we can do the remove background you guys cuz we're gonna bring this face the starfish uh, face into the connect the dots so let's go ahead and bring up our remove BG and let's go find our screenshot okay and it will be down in screenshots and it will be down at the bottom either one it doesn't matter because I showed this I actually did this twice one for you guys and then one for myself all right remove background it did that now we're gonna download and we're just gonna open it let's open that download up and you can't really see it but it's there and we'll just drag it in here now the next step this is how I do it okay make this as big as possible all right, and then grab our star here. So once we got our star, our original star in Silhouette Studios, um, we can go ahead and right click and hit Release Compound Path. And then we're just gonna slide on the design until it gives us just the inside, okay? That was just as simple as can be. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and group 
the inside and take off the red. Whoops, it missed the dot over here. All right, let's take the red off. We can make it black so it'd be darker. Okay, we'll group it. And now we can, there's an extra dot right here, y'all. Hold on. Ungroup. Let's take, I don't know where that came from. Okay. All right, now let's just group it. Make sure you got everything out the way. Slide it over into your star. Let's make the outline of the numbers uh, black. All right, and now you can make this outline. We gotta make it fit, right? So let's bring it all the way down. All the way down. This outline. Um, all right, I think that looks pretty good. So we can go ahead and square out the design and you can now group it and then now you can resize it as well as big and as small as you would like it okay guys so I figured that was the most important part next will be the maze if you guys don't know how to get the maze then we can also uh, I could show you that real quick as well okay and again now you're just placing your your connect the dot design wherever you want of course you guys are do a better job than I did I'm just doing this for the video okay for the purpose of the video I just showed you guys real quick so now let's go ahead and get our maze together Hey everyone so for the maze for the kids now you can just go in Pinterest and type in kid mazes you can find you a simple one something so simple like this one right here and don't worry about the images that are on there because we can actually remove them so let's go ahead and upload this and remove BG. Click out of there. Upload what we just downloaded. Now you can actually try to remove these two images from here. Let's see if we can do so. If not, then that's fine. We'll remove it once we get it in uh, Silhouette Studios. Okay, just like so. All right, it's got a little bit of image left, so let's see if it uh, if it doesn't, we can always take our eraser and Silhouette Studios and remove it. If it doesn't completely erase, I'm not worried about that little bit. Now let's erase all this. Let's erase the little boy. I already have a baby shark um, maze, so I'm just showing you guys how I would do it. Okay, and now we're good. Let's see, let's do that or take off. Get that taken off. All right, and now we're good. So now you can just hit done, hit download, open it up. And now you can bring it into Silhouette Studios and add the designs or the images, I'm sorry, that you would like to um, put at the beginning and the end. So for me, I did the baby shark here for him to find his family okay so that's how I did that so that's all you have to do you guys and then just readjust we can just readjust our images on the page let's go ahead and move this over and then we're gonna get ready to print I'm just gonna go ahead and readjust some of these designs and get ready to print so I'm gonna go ahead and move these around, but I'm definitely gonna show you guys how I put this together, okay, before I print it, all right? So I'll be back after I get done playing around with it. So this is what I came up with right here. All right, after playing around with it and moving my images around, I'm just going to square everything out now and I'm gonna go ahead and group and now it's time to print and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, okay? All right, guys, so I'm just gonna show you, I am, I've turned my design to the side this way that way it fits our media setup and then I'm just gonna go up here and hit this so it could center it for me the picture bring this down and now we're good we should be good to print it looks like it's a little crooked I don't know but yeah it looks like it may be just a tad bit off okay there we go now make sure your settings are correct we're not gonna flip it or anything, we're gonna leave it just like. You guys get something like this, it's telling you like it's a printing. Uh, to avoid printing on mismatched paper, 
what does that say paper settings don't match the paper load it in the cassette you guys just go ahead and hit next like you yeah, just hit okay and then hit yes and then it'll print all right and this is dealing with the um, Eagle Tank 3850 and this is what it looks like if you guys don't know and it's another ink behind there as well okay all right so it's starting to print I don't know if it's gonna take a minute or not sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't um, so yeah I'm gonna let it print out and then I'll show you guys what it looks like hey guys it's printing it's printing I'm so excited about the crossword puzzle though you guys like that is pretty neat pretty awesome all right it should be finishing up very soon here and keep in mind your color settings do matter if not they will not be as bright your black won't look as bold all right it's all done look it look at how it came out a star that we created oops and then you have a mirror in there on the puzzle so 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 cute you guys and again you guys can start selling these right how cute guys so that is it for this video we created this awesome awesome kids cu cu custom kids uh, placement activity or is it activity kids custom activity <laughs> placement anywho and then you take your little puncher depending how you want your corners to be put it all the way in there and then punch and it'll give you the the roundness just like so okay and then I'll show you what it looks like from the back stick it in there just like so all the way okay and that way it gives it like a little just a little better look and then this is the um, Ninja Turtle ones I did Okay, I did the tic-tac-toe in this so that also is an option if you guys want to add tic-tac-toe and don't really want to go with like the connect the dot or the fake I mean the maze um, yeah and then I did the Spidey and his friends what is it Spidey and friends yeah Spidey and friends same thing and then we together created the baby shark how cool all right you guys so I hope you guys like this video. I hope I really helped a lot of you guys out on how to create your own custom crossword puzzle as well as creating your own custom connect the dot design. Okay, you guys. All right, everyone. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you all will get the new videos that are upcoming. All right. We will see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed. Bye.